going to cut some double wide wide stripes today. Um, if I explain it, it's going to get complicated. It's easy, but once you start explaining it, it just sounds more complicated than what it is. So I'll do it and I'll talk over it. Um, it's just self-explanatory. Whilst you're doing it, it's much better. But when you hear it, it probably sounds a little bit complicated. But we'll see. But it does look nice. So okay, I've already started the stripes. So just, I mean, it, for this purpose, just ignore the stripes on the right, or the right of me. So we just cut down our stripe, normal fashion, and then we would usually be turning the mower to the left and coming back up. But what I want to do is come back up that's where it would be coming back up. But I've moved the mower onto this side and come back up here. And then I'm going to go back down next to that stripe. So that stripe now is double, double width of the mower. And then we can come up, which would be normal, next to that stripe. And then on a normal cut, I would be going back down that side, down there. But I want to turn it the other way and I want to go back down this stripe where it's had two stripes but I'll take the mower down the centre of them because you can just see that like little line where they've joined and that this just rolls that out so it just blends it all in and then I'll make another stripe next to that one And that's again a double stripe and then obviously I'll go down the path because there's no grass there. But carry on as soon as I hit the grass there. And then that becomes a stripe the other way but I want two of them so I've got to come back up this stripe. Again I go in the middle just to balance it out. And obviously down the path again, which would be down the grass, down a stripe. And then I do the next stripe. Then start the new stripe again, back up this way, normal. And just because the grass goes very, very small here, still carry on. You just, you ignore any obstacles or any shapes or anything and carry on doing whatever pattern you've got right to the very end. Even if the last stripe is only two feet long, doesn't matter. So again, we go down the stripe next to it. I think you can see the pattern we've developed. And it is very intricate, a lot of turning in this little corner, but it looks good at the end of the day. You can see the difference if you didn't just think, oh, it's only a little corner, it's only a bit of grass that's about five feet wide. I'll leave that bit. No, you've got to make the pattern go right to the end.
and there we have it, the double stripes. Hope you can pick it up because it's really sunny. And it even right into that far corner, you can still see them.